Join us for the very first IFL Live at London's Indigo at the O2, Sunday, August the 13th, with me, Coogan Cassius, and some very special guests, Eddie Hearn, Darren Barker, Johnny Fisher, and more. Tickets now on sale. So in the words of Eddie Hearn... You get up, you dress up, and you fucking shut up. This is Omar Ahmed. Oh. How are you doing, Oh. How are you? I'm good, I'm good, man. I ain't seen you, so it's good to see you. Good in the to flesh. see you, too. Yeah? Yes. And then we'll talk about getting this fight on. What to get with fighting you? First of all, beat the Why guys. Not? Let me well, finish. Listen, no, no, it's not about that, bro. It's Let me finish that. and I tell you. you, you first you, of all, you first fought, of all. you fought apart from Chris listen, Jenkins? Listen, listen. First of all. Okay, answer this. Why don't you come and fight us? First of all, beat the guys that beat you. Echo and McKinson and come talk to me now. Go away because I'm doing an interview. Okay, go away. Uh, no problem. Uh, no. Like I said, go I'm away. Here. I'm doing an interview no, now. No, come no, on, hide. No, no, I'll, I'll go away when I want. Go away. Whoa, 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 You finish. You finish. You finish. You finish. You finish. You finish. I told you, hey, I not joke. To me, don't talk like this. You stay here to me and you talk. To me, you don't talk like this, bro. I punch. I don't stay like this and talk like girls. Go away now. If you want, hey, send me a message. Shut up. Send me a message to Instagram and you know that. You know that. Send me a private message. Yeah. Exactly. I answer to you. If you want, you can send me and we can meet. Don't make like this because everyone sitting is showing us. Go away now. Right. Right, Florian, let's just pick this interview back up. Uh, a bit of a crazy start to the interview. What just happened there with Chris Congo? Just talk to me. Bro, first of all, he was, uh, he was doing some stories and some things about uh, me. He wanted to fight me and so. And, uh, but me at the moment... I'm not interested in fighting him. Before I wanted to fight him. She lost against McKinson. She lost against Echo. Is I'm not interested now. I'm seeing better fighters. If she is winning them, yeah, of course, let's fight. I, I'm very happy. Yeah, yeah, we'll Me, I can fight in here with whoever. Not him, but five like him. I don't care. He came to me here. I'm doing interview with you. And he said, oh, he's talking. He's, he's staying like this, like serious. Bro, with me, you cannot talk like this. I respect you, I give you my hand, I, I, give, I, give, I give him my hand, we speak, I say, okay, please, can you go now because I have an interview. Then he's starting seeing me. Is that of why course. you pushed him? Of course, go away, man. What do you want? You want to talk or you want to fight? If you want to fight, let's fight here. What, we are, we are joking, I'm not here to, to sing. I, I'm here to fight. And that's it, let's go now to the interview because bro, these things, I don't like these kind of things, man. I am not... Uh, I'm, I'm not used to these things. I respect people when they come. But if you want to, to have an argument, I'm going to punch you in the face because I don't know to argue with men. Okay, let's talk about Dylan because that is your focus on October 21st. Um, how much do you know about Dylan Moran? <sighs> no, about Dylan Moran. Uh, I, uh, I, I have seen him fight. He was a good amateur, I think, good fighter. Of course, that is the chance of his life. I know he is, uh, he is very good prepared for this fight, but man, I swear to God, I can't wait to fight. It's been a while, it's been one year since uh, my last fight in Albania in a football stadium. And it's been a really tough year for me. I haven't used to stay so long out of ring in the best age of my life. And, but now we, we are here and I'm really happy, you know. I'm really happy that I'm seeing you, I'm seeing him, I'm seeing everyone because this is what I love, you know, and people cannot understand, but this is what makes me happy. And yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna steal the show at 2nd of September, remember that. Yeah, Florian, it has been a long while since I've seen you. Obviously, you've been working very hard in Sheffield with your new team. Yeah. Well, I say new, you've been with Grant Smith a while now. Yeah. Um, I feel like Grant is one of those trainers who doesn't really get the recognition he deserves. I'm going to say about uh, Grant first, you know. Grant have the mindset that I have. He is a warrior, you know. And Grant, whatever he does, he, de he does it with passion. He loves his fighter, he loves his work, he stays at the gym like 
12 hours, 15 hours far from his family, you know, and he dedicated that to us, you know, and I'm really happy that I moved with my family. Nice to see you too. I'm really happy that uh, uh, I moved with my family from London to go to, to Sheffield, you know, because now I live there and I'm with Grant. And uh, 2nd of September, we're going to show what uh, we have working about the guys at the gym, uh, Dalton, Sonny, Junaid, uh, all the guys that have been there, Leron Richards. Now we have, you know, we are family. We are close with each other. We discuss many things. We go out for coffee and so we are a team we are we are not jealous when the other guy win or uh, does good you know we try to help each other to put the best out of them Florian I do have to ask you before I let you go because uh, this was someone you were linked with actually uh, a couple of years back Connor Ben your names were talked about a lot what have you made of this whole situation it's nearly been a year now since this thing started with Connor Ben you know I I feel bad about Connor Ben because I think uh, he is a warrior, he has a warrior man in mindset, you know. He go to the ring and he dedicate his life to, to, to the sport. He doesn't have to, I have to, <laughs> but he, he tried to uh, he dedicate his life. I don't know uh, what is with this situation. I believe him that uh, he didn't do it, you know. And now uh, they, they say that he didn't do it. I'm really happy. We had a little bit of conversation, small conversation in Instagram, me and him, yeah. Because I know uh, Dylan, uh, he, he, I think it was his friend or something like this. And yeah, but nothing else. Respect to him. If you ask me, you, go, you want to fight him? Of course I want to fight him. I want to fight him. I want to fight George Taylor. I want to fight Kel Brook. I want to fight Amir Khan. I want to fight all these big names that are going to bring some money on my pocket like everyone who, who is telling you uh, different is lying and some fame to be popular and to win some world titles. So beat Dylan on the 21st, not overlooking him, but get that job done. And what are we realistically looking at for you next? Uh, I don't want to speak to, uh, to what's next because uh, he is as important as a world champion for, uh, for me. And uh, he's coming to fight. That is his uh, big, big chance to prove what he's doing and I'm not go I'm not looking past him you know I'm focused 100% to him and after this fight we can focus in another uh, fight it's a big show live on Sky Sports listen Florian great to see you maybe just stay away from Chris Congo for now okay and uh, we'll speak soon brother take care. take care join us for the very first IFL live at London's Indigo at the O2 Sunday August the 13th with me Kukin Cassius and some very special guests Eddie Hearn, Darren Barker, Johnny Fisher and more. Tickets now on sale. So in the words of Eddie Hearn... You get up, you dress up and you fucking show up.